The story of a Dhamma from Dhammapada. Na dangkan man gadan zadu yang gadawa anu dabadi Yaza azu muka rodan wibagan badi sewadi Ajengan go bilo chenjao naunda dapan buban yai Tokam Yogo below Chendi Macau. Nay is a lem, go jewelry at a jankai at Jogo, Kanzaya, Tokam Yogo below Chendi Macau. I will damn is the actions or doing which one repents later, and the fruit of which one weeping reaps with. Tears. Another translation, it is good if one were to avoid committing such actions, which would later lead to regret. When one regrets, one weeps. Another translation, this deed is not well done, of which a man must afterwards repent. The fruit thereof he receives weeping with tearful face. Hmm. Sometimes with the direct translations from the stanza, it's difficult to understand. This Dhammadisana was taught by the Buddha when he was dwelling at Chetavana Monastery in Sawati city with the reference to one Fama. You know, one Fama was famines, you know, uh, tillings his field not so far from Sawati city. His, his uh, you know, the field is not so far from Sawati city. Then he was plowing in his field. Then one day, a group of thieves want to stay money or many property from rich persons house from Saudi city. Then how, do, how did they do? They make water tunnels and underground tunnels from his field. Is it? His field. Then they make, they deck the water tunnels to the house in the Saudi city. Uh, there will be water, water course, is it? Uh, underground. Then, they go to the rest of house from this water tunnels, from his petty field. Then, they stored a lot of money and many gold, jewels, etc. from the rest of house from Sawati city. Then they also come out from this tunnel, taking many property from this rich person's house. When they escape from the tunnels, 
you know, in this field of farmers, then they also share their gold, coin, money, many properties, each other. Is it? But one of the thieves, a group of thieves, one of the thieves took 1,000 1, pieces of money in his underwear. Is it? Without others' knowledge, he hid secretly. He hid the 1,000 pieces of money in his underwear, under clothes, without others' knowledge, secretly. Then they share, they divide their uh, the gold and property that they had steal, that they had stolen. Then after sharing within them, then they go their ways. At that time, the one who put 1,000 pieces of money in his under clothes, underwear, then this 1,000 piece of money with, uh, in the wallet, together with the wallet, then fell down, dropped down. He didn't perceive, he didn't notice, is it? Because uh, he only just hid under his clothes. Then it also dropped down, he didn't notice. It dropped down. Then he also went to his way. Is it? At that time, the Buddha was also reflecting on the whole world. Who will be possible, who will be potential to realize Nibbana on this day? This is the Buddha's daily schedule. According to the Buddha's daily schedule, early in the morning, the Buddha reflect on the whole world. Who should be saved? Who should be given the Dhamma talk? Is it? By the Buddha. At that time, the Fama appear in his knowledge or nest of knowledge. Then what is the reason? When he reflect on this, when he reflect on the reason, the Buddha understood. You know, this Fama where go to his field to plow. At the times, you know, the owner of the property will follow according to their footsteps. Then they were arrest this farmer. They think this farmer stole their money and properties from their house. Why? They saw this 1,000 piece of money in his field together with him. Is it? Then if I don't go there, then he will be troublesome. He will be troubled. Then if I go there, then I will be his witness. Then he will escape from this suffering. Is it? Then with the intention, uh, with this, because of this reason, then I will preach the Dhamma to them. Then at the end of the stanza, the Fama will become Sotabana. Or because of this reason, then I shall go there for this reason. Oh, when the Buddha understood this reason, then what happened? Then on this day, you know, the farmers also, Fama also went to his field to plow, to till, is it? Then he was uh, uh, plow, plowing his field. He was tilling his field early in the morning. That time, the Buddha also went to his place together with Bhanarva Ananda. Then, when the Buddha reached, oh, uh, you know, sorry, the Fama, uh, okay. 
And the Buddha also went to this place together with Venerable Ananda. At that time, the farmer saw the Buddha and Venerable Ananda. Then he went to, he approached the Buddha and he paid homage to the Buddha. After paying homage to the Buddha, then what happened? Then he consumed his plowing his field. He continued to plow his field. At that time, the Buddha showed this, you know, wallet with a 1,000 piece of money inside. Wallet. Is it? Money with the clothes. The Buddha showed Venerable Ananda. Pasa Ananda, as he we saw. Pasa Ananda, as he we saw. Oh, Ananda, see here. This is the poisonous snake. Oh, see Ananda, poisonous snake. The Buddha says to Venerable Ananda. Then Venerable Ananda also answer. Pasami Bande Kora we saw. I see Bande, this is poisonous snake. A poisonous snake. You know, poisonous snake like cobra or a kind of poisonous snake. Then they only just saw. Then after they what? Then the Buddha didn't say anything to the farmer. After saying in this way, and the Buddha and Venerable Ananda left from this place. Then, because you know, the Fama also have what the Buddha and Venerable Ananda says to each other, talk to each other. You know, Asi we saw, God, Sukhosa we saw, Ananda, see, this is poisonous snake. Venerable Ananda also say, yes, I, I see Vande, this is poisonous snake. They only just see. This is my body feel. I came here even night time. There's a no poisonous snake around my field. What the Buddha mean? Then, if there's a poisonous snake, I will kill him. Oh, I will kill it. Then he took the, his uh, stick. Then he went to this place. Then, he saw the wallet with the 1,000 piece of money, $1,000, is it? $1,000 is very expensive at the time, is it? Not like it now. Then, what will happen? Then, he, when he saw this wallet with the 1,000 pieces of money inside, then, he thought, oh, the Buddha referred to this wallet with the 1,000 pieces of money inside. Then he took this wallet and then he put in one plate, then he covered with the uh, uh, dust. Then he continued to plow his field. Then, is it? Then when he was plowing, uh, plowing his field, then early uh, in the morning, the owner of the house also realized, oh, then my house was, you know, the broken by the thief, robber. Then they also stole my property, my a lot of gold and money from my house. Then they also uh, investigate here and there. After that, they saw this water tunnels underground water tunnels. You see? Then according to their footsteps, they also follow the thief. Finally, they reach the farmer's field. Then he was also plowing in his field. Then they also saw the place where they divide their share, their property. You know, the many thieves share the property in this place. They also saw this condition. After that, they continue to follow according to their footsteps. They saw the farmer's footsteps. Then they also follow according to the footsteps of the farmer. Finally, 
the owner saw the wallet with the 1,000 pieces of money inside, which covered with the dust. Then after that, they talk, oh, then you are the thief. You stole our property from our houses, but you are pretending as a farmer. Then they arrested this farmer and they sent to the Kent, the Felix. Okay? Then they also explained that Your Majesty, they stole our properties here, but he was pretending as a farmer. But here we have the witness. Then all less with 1,000 pieces of money. Then, then the king also don't consider anything. Oh, according to their law, if one, someone uh, steals others' property, about 1,000 pieces of money, then kill this thief. Is it? Then, okay, they, uh, the king asked uh, his men, okay, please keep the thief in the cemetery. Then they brought the farmer, or the, the king's uh, men brought the farmers to the cemeteries to kill. Is it? Then, when they were going to the kill him place. Then he shouted himself. He only just recited one thing. Is it? What's his recitation? Pasananda Asi we saw. Pasami Bhagawa Gora we saw. Only just he says this sentence many times. You know, Pasananda Asi we saw. Ananda, do you see the poisonous snakes? Then he also, Bhandarabha Ananda also answered, Pasami Bhagawa Gora we saw, Bhande, I see the poisonous snake. Oh, he recites this sentence only, again and again, again and again. Then the king's men get confused. Oh, this farmer recites our Bhutta's name and Bhandarabha Ananda's name repeatedly. What is the reason? Then they ask, why you are reciting our Buddha's name and Venerable Ananda's name? Then if you bring me to the king, okay, I will explain the true story. Then they also, they are also interested. Then they brought the thieves to the king again. In front of the king, they, then they also explain, this farmer is reciting, this thief is reciting uh, Buddha's and Venerable Ananda's name again and again, again and again. Th that is why we also ask why you are reciting, why repeatedly the Buddha's name and Venerable Ananda's name. Then he says, he will explain in front of the king, that is why we brought hands to you. Then the king also asks, it is true? Yes, Majesty. Why you are reciting the Buddha's and Venerable Ananda's name repeatedly? Then he answered, he told the whole story. You know, early in the morning when I was plowing my field, the Buddha and Venerable Ananda came to my field. Then seeing this wallet with the 1,000 pieces of money, the Buddha says, Pas Ananda, as we saw, Ananda, do you see this point in the snake? Venerable Ananda also answered, Pasami Bhagawa Gora we saw. I see the bandi this point in the snakes. Oh, this is like this. Then he also explained the whole story. That is why I go and find, then I found this wallet with 1,000 pieces. Then I put it in one place. Why? This, uh, According to commentary, he, has, he does not know how to do. That is why he put in one place and covered with a small dust. Is it? That is why the owner, when the owner comes, then he immediately found out. Is it? Then he explained the whole stories to the king. Then the king also understood, oh, then, okay, please wait, don't kill him. I will go in check with the Buddha, then in the, uh, in the evenings, the king went to the Buddha together with the farmer. 
Then when he reached the Buddha, maybe th this is called Lakan, okay, the king of the Sawati country. Then the king also asked the Buddha, one day, uh, this morning did you went to this, this famous field? Then the Buddha also answered, yes, I went to uh, I went to this farmer's field together with Ananda. At that time, did you, did you see the wallet with 1,000 pieces of money? Yes, I also saw. Then, Pandey, did you see this wallet? Uh, 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 Pass Ananda, as we saw. Ananda, do you see this poisonous snake? Etc. Yes, we have this conversation with Anand, uh, Ananda together. Oh, then at that time, the king realized this is the true story. Then, then, but they, if he can, if the Pamas cannot show his witness like you, then his life already disappear. Then, but because of witness of Buddha and Venerable Ananda, then, he has saved his life. Is it? Then otherwise he will be killed by my kin, my men or my police. But now he repeated your name and venerable Ananda names again and again, again and again. Because of this reason, then now his life is saved. Is it? Then when the king says to the Buddha, then the Buddha also says, <coughs> What is the Buddha says? Ama Maharaja Ahan Bi Etagami Wa Wat Wa Kador Yes, I also says only just this word. You know, Pas Ananda, as we saw. Ananda, do you see this poisonous snake? Then Ananda also says only, yes, Pasami, Bhagawa, Kora, we saw, I see the poisonous snakes. Oh, he only sits in this way. Is it? Then after that, the Buddha continued to talk about the Dhamma. Pandite na nama yankama katawa pecha nutabhan hoti dan nakatabhan. You know, the wise man should not do the evil things. After doings, this evil deed, then they will regret because of this evil doings. Oh, they should not do such kinds of action. Then by saying this, the Buddha recite this stanza. You see? Na danga manga danza du yanga dwa anuta bati yasa an azumukho rodan vipagan bati sewati. Oh. Then it is clear, you know. For example, if they do akusala or evil deed, evil actions, killing living beings, stealing others' property, doing such a misconduct, lying and taking intoxicants, etc., is it? Then if they do such kinds of actions, evil actions, what we, what we experience, then after doing those actions, even in this very life, sure, sh sh they will be arrested by the police or the king. After that, they will torture those persons. Is it? Oh, this is the presence. They, they experience the result of evil actions in this present life. Then when they pass away, then they will also, they will be reborn in hell, etc. They will fall into foolhood state. Is it? Then after doing such kinds of evil actions, actually they also regret for their whole life. Is it? You may experience, for example, you had done a kind of very serious akusala. Then although you are practicing meditation, then you regret by remembering, recollecting such kinds of action. Is it? Oh, then that is why if this action will cause you to regret, then you should not do 
That is why Natan Kama Katan Sadhude. It is good not to do the action that will cause to regret in the future. Is it? Yan Tikatwa, Anutapati. Yes, I assume Koroda, we bag and put it. After doing such kinds of action, what is this one? Then they will experience the result of back action, back action. the bad result of this evil action by weeping, by crying. Is it? Uh, uh, that is why here, yes, uh, asumu call, asumu call me with the tearful face. Oh. They will experience the fruit of bad action, the bad result of bad actions with a tearful face. Oh, the Buddha reminds you not to do the evil action. They can cause to regress in the future. Or you, uh, they can experience the bad result, bad result with a tearful face. Ah, then only just the Buddha recited this stanza to the king and the fama. Then at the end of the stanza, you know what happened? The fama became sotapana. Oh, also many lessons as we could became sotapana, etc. But Kosala can didn't become sotapana. <laughs> is it? Okay. Then Kosala can is the one of the body set up according to uh, syntax, is it? According to, he, he was the uh, Bodhisattva. That is why although they approach the Buddha, you know, Malika, when also the same, Malika again is, again is knowledgeable. He also approached the Buddha, he also studied Tipitaka from Venerable Ananda, etc. Then they didn't become Sotapanna, etc. Why? Uh, th this is the reason. Maybe the king uh, caused a lot worse. Uh, he is maybe a little bit stupid, <laughs> a little bit stupid, but will be bodhisattva in the future like this. Is it? Then, if he became a Buddha, maybe Malika queen also fulfilling Paramit together with the cause a king, etc. But it does not mention exactly in the text. But in some commentary, it doesn't it want to say it like this. That is why, although the Buddha taught many Dhamma talks, you know, Malika and the Kosla can didn't become Sotapanna, etc. Although the uh, Pembisara can and the other many become Sotapanna, but they didn't become Sotapanna, etc. Is it? Okay, at the end of the stanza, anyway, Fama's. Of this farmers became Sotapanna. Okay, this is the story of a farmer, Kasaka Wotu. Okay, be careful, although you don't steal others' property, sometimes uh, uh, sometime they may arrest you or they may accuse you, you are a thief, etc. Not only the one, the other thing also in the same way. Actually, you didn't do this, this thing, but other, remember, this really too, this really sits like this. Then what will happen? At that time, you only just recite Bodo, Bodo, Bodo. <laughs> Don't get angry with this person, is it? Then this is the witness for you to escape from this accusation. <laughs> accusation, is it? Yeah. If you get angry with them, then cannot finish. Cannot finish. Now, also, I also thought, think about myself. If someone accused me with something, then okay, I don't explain too much, is it? If I explain such kinds of things, they may or they may not understand. That is why only just meditate and okay, stay with our dharma. Then they become automatically quiet. And they don't accuse or they don't get angry with us. Is it? And this way is the best. Sometimes uh, to clarify is better. Sometimes only just stay with your dharma quietly. Then they will, they will be away from you automatically. This way is better. Sometimes we try to explain if someone accuses us some, some misunderstanding, then we try to explain them, then they will not accept. Even they get more and more anger. Is it? They're more and more angry. That is why the way is okay. If you want, 
if someone accuses you, don't get angry with this person. Again, only just say, ATP so Bhagawa Arasama Sambhuto. Oh, okay, go and meditate yourself. <laughs> then finish in this way. Then they will not accuse many times. Oh, one or two times enough, they will run away. Is it? Okay. By knowing the story, then may be able to avoid doing the evil actions which can cause for uh, which can cause to regress in the future. Is it? Then may be able to do the good action, good kusala only, that cannot cause to regret in the future. Whenever you reflect on the good actions that you had done in the past, then you will be happy, you will, you will be happy and you will be peaceful. Is it? Then in this way, then you can practice meditations to realize Nibbana, maybe even to practice to realize Nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Sukhi hotu, neighbor napis your hotu. Sadu, sadu, no more tami. Sadu, no more ditaban. Come, mommy, come be taban. Sukhi hotu, neighbor napis your hotu.